Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And we have two big breaking stories. First at four, an intense manhunt for a serial killer suspect in Detroit ends in gunfire, leaving that suspect dead. Also, a student drowns in the pool at Mumford High School. We have crews working both stories right now. Let's start with the search for that armed and dangerous man. It has all come down to a deadly ending in Oak Park. Let's go over to Local 4's Victor Williams. He joins us live from the scene. He was the first crew on the scene. Victor, what can you tell us? Well, first off, this was a very intense situation. Me and my cameraman, Zach, we were the only ones here when we saw everything going down. We saw officers rushing to that backyard that you're looking at right over there on Ridgedale and Oak Park. We heard one single gunshot, and we believe that that was Mr. Kenyell Brown shooting himself. We saw him then being taken away on the stretcher. Right now, the chief is doing a press conference right over there. We pulled ourselves away so we could do this live shot really quickly, but once again, it looks like Kenyell Brown is in custody. Of course, he did shoot himself. Reporting live, Victor Williams, Local 4, but we are going to go ahead quickly right now to something that the chief said earlier. I was seen by a clerk at the bookstore. He'd been there in the past. Uh, in the past, he would uh, ingest what uh, he described as smoking uh, rock cocaine. On today's date, no evidence that he was doing that. However, he was in there and they wanted him to leave. But they recognized him from uh, news reports. So at that point, um, uh, 12 precinct responded in very quickly. A couple of our neighborhood police officers were first on the scene. Uh, he had already left the location, so they began to check the area. At some point, they became aware that he may have crossed 8 Mile into the city of Oak Park. Uh, he did do that. Uh, we then, as we continue our search, certainly with the assistance from Oak Park, uh, we then begin to search the area. And at some point, Oak Park and our officers, after there was a canine search, saw him. Uh, he began to evade the officers' attempt to uh, detain him. Yeah. At some point, as he jumped a fence and went into a rear yard of a residence, he fired a single shot uh, into his head. Now, the homeowner, they understood all this was going on. They noticed the man in the backyard, and from there, they called police. And, of course, they all ended up here to take this man into custody. We'll have more of that at 5 p.m. For now, we are reporting live in Oak Park. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, we'll let you get back to the Chief's press conference and gather more information. We'll see you at 5. Thank you, Victor.